You've always been a hard worker. You've always paid your Social Security. But now you can't work because of a disease, illness, or injury. You can receive disability benefits for conditions such as cancer, depression, back injuries, and more. Call Carter Mario Injury Lawyers if you have questions about your disability benefits. The call is free. The advice is free. Get Carter. 1-800-560-1300. Save plumbing. Repaired quickly, repaired correctly. Got plumbing problems? We can solve them. Tri-City will diagnose any plumbing problem for just $39 and tell you exactly what's wrong before we begin any work. Call Tri-City today. The original investigators. The I-Team. Only on Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Whoa! Today on Better, it's finally spring. Whoa! Right. Look at these beautiful tulips here, Channel 3. That's really good. Yay! Oh, All right, Julie's here. She's going to tell you how to grow your own. Plus, the hottest spring fashions, courtesy of the West Farms Mall. And we're getting cheap and easy in the kitchen with Christine. You're on the move! Better starts right now. It's better than swell. Our producer just said that might have been the worst opening ever. I agree. Thank you. I thank you so much. That. We want to thank uh, Olesa for stepping in. Kara obviously caught what I got. Mm -hmm. And she was not feeling well on Friday. And I looked at her and I said, it's not going to be good. No, I'm better. Are you? Yes, 100%? I'm good. 100%. Okay. I'm on that uh, antibiotic uh -huh. that my doctor gave me. And I feel, I feel great. I just still stand a little bit namely. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. You sound much better than last week. Uh, you're good. I want to thank our studio audience for coming in. We have uh, Karen. We have Jackie. We have Donna. Donna. And we have Ramona. Ramona. So Got thank it. you for coming. Only There's only four in the audience today. But, you know, they're going to make up for that. Give, let's hear you. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> That's the way to go. Uh, it's Oh, no. Who's got that laugh? Is that Ramona's laugh? That's Donna's laugh, isn't it? They're all it? pointing at each other. That's beautiful. <laughs> well, you ladies, you have a good time and laugh at whatever you think is funny today, including Alessa dancing, which and, was Saturday hey. night. I'm just kidding. Uh, we had a big event Saturday night, mm -hmm. and it was for Chris Radio. If you don't know what Chris Radio is, they do uh, unbelievable, amazing work. They uh, provide audio assistance to... Uh, Sight impaired. Uh, sight impaired people. Like, uh, I, I don't know how many thousands of people they service, but they get them their own special radio. Mm -hmm. And then um, they have over 350 volunteers, and they read to the blind people, like store circulars and sports and the comics and every single thing mm -hmm. that we take for granted. You know, like a newspaper. They can't read a newspaper because not in Braille. And they, you know, so right, these right. wonderful volunteers come in. So Diane, um, Diane is Dude. the head. See, Diane Dunn. Yes, Dunn. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's such an Dunn. awesome event because they, we, I didn't even know because I hadn't done it before, but you, you dine in the dark. They literally turn yeah. the lights down just so you can feel what the experience is like. Right. And, you know, uh, I had uh, some lovely people sitting at my table, Rebecca Stewart from uh, Hartford Hospital mm -hmm. and um, uh, Shelly Sinlin, former uh, reporter. and Turned judge. Yeah, she was the judge. Rebecca looks at me and she goes, I hope my meat is cooked. And I'm like, that's the point. I said, because we can't see what we, you literally can't could see not see what you plate. were eating. Yep. And they just wanted to give you a little taste of uh, what it's like to live with sight impairment. So mm -hmm. it was a wonderful organization. And you danced. I danced. I did. I did the cha-cha with my dance partner, Todd. And uh, this is after, after I lost the competition and you were trying to make me feel better. I was trying to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. You did a great job. Thank you. I was worried about a possible wardrobe malfunction. There's the, the not dress. Yeah, it, we, it was you, a napkin. We're not allowed to see the front. No, I literally wore a napkin, and my grandmother was there, so it was just like cover your eyes. More I, importantly, your brother was there. Who, yes, and you know he's like you know these Russians. They are very protective of their of their people. Uh huh. You know, like Olesa, like and Eric was so mad that you didn't win. I know he was I, upset. He no, was like he was like, who is that judge? I'm gonna. Get him. I was like, so you went and stole so the trophy. This is the trophy, and I found it in the in the changing room, and I was really on the fence. I really wanted to take it home. You I did really want did to Miss take Connecticut it. Miss Connecticut won, but she's a professional dancer. She is a professional dancer. So I really can't compete with that. So I, I figured she might already have a couple of these. She, maybe she wouldn't miss it. And our own Channel Three, Matt McFarlane, he stepped in, did a yes. great job. He did a great job, and mm -hmm. I got to MC the whole event, so it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, and earlier in the day, I went off to. Um, 
I had three public appearances on Saturday. I was a little busy. Wow. Uh, rebuilding Hartford. And it is a wonderful event. This is a photo of me, Kate Rayner, who was covering the story for Channel 3. Mayor, the mayor whose birthday was yesterday. I want to wish him a very happy birthday. And that's Jack Brown, who is Teddy Brown. You know, Peter L. Brown, he's doing it right the first time. That's Peter is the father, Teddy is the son, and Jack is the grandson. So that's Jack Brown, and we were all there Saturday morning to kick off this wonderful event. They went into about 26 homes in the greater Hartford area. All of these volunteers, 600 volunteers on the lawn at St. Francis Hospital that morning, and then they each went off to a different house, and they got hammers, and they got nails, and they got paint, and they got lawnmowers, and they, they went into these people who couldn't, can no longer afford that's to so take awesome. care of their homes. The whole community coming together. It, it was help. beautiful, and I love to kick that event off, and luckily they know that I can't swing a hammer. I couldn't hit a barn if I were inside of it. <laughs> so they were like, you just MC the event. And I'm like, okay, that's good. <laughs> and then I guess there. I should share my story. Yeah, I think you should share your story. D so. Let's just, okay, so um, uh, I'm Saturday morning, I get a call from the real estate agent that they're going to show my house. So I said, I've got to get the house. Yeah, I got to get it ready. Got to get it ready. So I had landscapers come out and kind of fluff up the beds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said I was going to do it this year, and then I don't have any time. So I'm in the driveway, and they put down, they thatched the lawn, and they put down this like, kind of like, it's like a green toilet paper over the lawn. So like, I guess the grass seed can grow. You know what I'm talking about? No. Anyway, they got it on the driveway, and I was like a little freaked out. So I got out there with the hose, 7.30 on Saturday morning, and I'm with the hose getting rid of the toilet paper off my driveway. I'm looking at my neighbor's yard, and they have a pile of wood and pallet stuff that they burn, mm -hmm. and they put their hockey nets back there. It's a, like a storage little area. So it looks a little messy. Not, not, not to the normal person. To me, it looked, you know, like it needed to be tidied up. Uh -huh. So I didn't think they were home, so I went into my neighbor's yard and I spent about 20 minutes tidying up their pile. Moving the nets around, they have some outdoor <laughs> lighting, I move some pallets Wouldn't around. Wouldn't you like to have a neighbor like this that goes in the backyard and cleans your so house? So it's literally in the woods. So you can't really see it, but I'm thinking the neighbor, you know, like whoever's coming to see my house is going to be able to see it. I step out of the pile after I'm done, oh, there's my neighbor standing on his deck. He's like. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, hi. He goes, what are you doing? And I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I said, I'm tidying. He goes, you're tidying my yard? I said, yes. <laughs> he goes, are you sure you're not looking for your cat? Which like he was trying to give yes. me an alibi. Aww. And I should have said yes. And I said, no, I'm crazy. And I'm tidying your yard. <laughs> so he said, you're right. You are crazy. And then he went in and had his breakfast, and then I just walked slinked back to my house. Is that the most embarrassing thing ever? Hey, everybody went home happy. You're everybody happy, it's clean. Happy. They're happy, it's clean. And uh, before you know it, the people came, they looked at my house, they were in there for three minutes and turned around and left. So I guess they didn't like the house. Oh, maybe know. they would have liked the big pile in the backyard. You know what? They looked a little weird. I didn't think oh, I don't right. want to live in there anyway. Okay. There you go. <laughs> all right, moving on. Um, <laughs> World Trade Center. Yes, it becomes the... What, the biggest or the it's tallest? Gonna, it, it already is, but now they're adding this antenna that's going to be, I don't know how many, how, it's humongous. It's 800 tons. 408 foot that's going on top of, of the Empire State Building. It's going to be no, humongous. the World Trade. I mean, the World Trade Center. The Freedom sorry. Tower. Yes, so it's going to be overlooking the Statue of Liberty and everything. And It'll be, the building will be at 1,776 feet tall. That's a big, tall building. And the tallest building is actually in Dubai, and that one is 27 thousand. Twenty seven hundred. Twenty seven hundred feet. feet tall. So it's a hundred I can't. hundred feet more. That's yes. cons considerably more. Is that more. right? We're doing the math. Did wrong. you ever go in that building? Haynes? I went by it. You went by that yes. building. Yes. Boy, I don't wanna And it's adjustable. So if anybody in the world can build something taller, they can make that Oh it's an adjustable building in Dubai. Oh. So they can okay. make it higher if anybody tries to beat them. So anyway this will, our building will be one of the tallest buildings in the Western Hemisphere. Right. And oh, you tell us about the, the piece yeah, that they found on from Friday, the Friday I don't know if you heard about this, but they found a five foot by four foot piece of metal in an alley near the site and they just have deduced that it's actually a piece of the plane that landing went down gear. part of the landing gear mm -hmm. now this is amazing it's literally what is it 12 years later and they're still finding parts and that lends you know the credence of 
well, are there more, you know, body parts in that? So now they've cordoned off the area. This is an, a literally between two buildings. It was wedged between a nearby mosque and an apartment building to believe to, and it was, the part was believed to be one of the hijacked planes. And now they're trying to find more human remains in this hidden alley where debris may still contain human remains, which is just incredible. That's unbelievable. So, um, you know, we'll keep a good thought. Maybe there'll be a little bit more closure for some people who mm -hmm. are, I think, I, I, and again, I'm going to be wrong. I think 40% of the victims were never, no, there were no remains of any of the victims. So maybe they'll get a little bit of closure, those people. All right, we're moving on to... Uh, uh, soap opera. Big day today for those of you who like all my children and, and one, life one life to, to live. live. Uh, it's online. You can watch their 30 minute, I believe their 30 minute 30 episodes. 30 minute episodes. And you can continue to watch and I'm, I'm, what I'm, I'm understanding that they're a little bit more risque. Yes, I heard there's a lot more skin. How mm -hmm. could that possibly be imaginable? There's <laughs> enough skin on the regular soap operas. Wow, that's one angry priest. Yes, what's Ooh. happening there? I don't, I don't know. know. I, I watch Days of Our Lives, so I don't know anything about these two. But everyone's very excited because now you can watch them, apparently. Now, and it says you can get it free if you have Xfinity. You mm -hmm. just go online if you have Xfinity, and they will... That guy was on our show, that, that last one. Um, I don't, sorry, I forget the names of everybody. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so you can get it online, and uh, if not, you can subscribe. Get EW on your tablet. Subscribe today and get instant access. I don't know what EW means. Oh, some Eyewitness News. Oh, it's from Entertainment Weekly. Oh. They, they, okay, so you okay. can go through that way. All right, I don't want to talk about Michael Jackson. Michael Jordan, I don't want to talk about him either. He's married. He's married. Good for him. Tim Tebow yes. got the axe this morning. Oh. You know, the thinker, mm -hmm. the prayer. So uh, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. I think the whole thing was a publicity stunt to begin with because they already had Sanchez. They brought in this guy. They were competing for the quarterback position, blah, blah, blah. Neither of them worked out. They both kind of stink. So now they drafted a new quarterback. Sorry, Jet fans. They have a new quarterback that they just drafted this year. So that means Tebow's out. Potentially Sanchez will be out as well. Now, that, that, uh, is that Mark Sanchez? Yes. yes. Wow, I'm pretty good. I That's know that. That's impressive. Yeah. Mark Sanchez. Yes. So, um, but I always like to look at the prettiest one. So, who was prettier? Mark Sanchez. Well, if, I don't know. Some people like Tebow. Is I'm, the one they just drafted nice looking? I'm not in my opinion, but you know. All right. Well, that's all that matters. That's the only way you're going to get me to watch football. Okay. Is if they have good looking good men looking in tight men pants wearing those crazy costumes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it? I want to show you the world's most expensive lawnmower because I'm just. I have to have this. Seventeen thousand dollars. Can you what? for what? Honey, honey, Father's Day is coming up. I have three cats, so I think I'm worthy of this. The only way <clears> someone <throat> should pay for this is if it's gold plated and mows the lawn. Let on me its tell phone. you what it has. Think for uh, it's got four wheel drive, oh, cruise good. control, cruise control, tilt steering, and a powerful three cylinder diesel engine that provides extra torque and durability according to John Deere. And look at that woman. It's strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Wait, it also has cup holders, cup and holders. it has a place for you to plug your phone in in case you need to make an important you phone see call. That? It's, the, it's the top of the line. It's, it's like you the Rolls Royce of Either that, lawnmowers. or you can strap some blades to your Honda Civic. They're both the same price. <laughs> All right, we got a great show. <laughs> we got a great show for you today. We're going to introduce you to a man that knows all too well what some of the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings know. And yep. we'll show you how he's helping others. This is a, that's an incredible story. Plus, a sure sign of spring. Tulips. Look at that. Julie Harrison is going to show us how, do you, how you can get these in your yard. That is coming back in two minutes. Stay with us. The $1,000 a day Facebook giveaway. Facebook? That's right. Just watch Eyewitness News starting at 5 for the clue, then head to Facebook and enter to win. Wow, that's easy. The $1,000 a day Facebook giveaway tonight on Channel 3. We're the only law firm in Connecticut with a doctor and nurse on staff who are also lawyers. Imagine that. And right now, we're offering the season's lowest payments on two of our hottest sellers. Lease a new 2013 Ford Focus SE, only $139 a month. Lease a new 2013 Ford Fusion SE, just $159 a month. Hurry, with payments at $139 a month for new Focus and $159 a month for new Fusions, selection will sell fast. Randy Ford, we'll make a believer out of you. Have you heard? 
Xfinity delivers the fastest in-home Wi-Fi. It blows DSL away. And for four weeks, you can get a limited time offer on Xfinity Internet and TV. It's Xfinity's fastest four weeks. Try it for 30 days risk-free. So what do you think? We had no idea what we were missing. And we're just getting started. Call 1-877-342-6473 now and get the Xfinity Double Play from Comcast for $89.99 a month for 12 months. Plus, get Xfinity Internet, which delivers the fastest in-home Wi-Fi in every room on every device. That's what I'm talking about. You'll get lightning fast speed to chat, surf, and stream online. Incredibly fast. Plus, you'll also get Xfinity On Demand with thousands of hit movies and the latest TV shows anytime, anywhere, included at no additional cost. So act now and get Xfinity Internet and TV for $89.99 a month for 12 months with stream picks and HBO included. Plus, get HD DVR service free for six months. There's no term contract, and you'll get a self-install kit. Call 1-877-342-6473 today. Hurry. Offer ends May 12th. Call now. Ringling Brothers presents Built to Amaze, an all-new live event engineered for excitement and custom-built for family fun. It will have your family riveted to something extraordinary together. Opening night tickets are $15. Playing Excel Center, May 9th through the 12th. If any of this wet weather puts a dent in our rainfall deficit, the answer at 5. Welcome back to Better Connecticut. In this week's Harris Cures, you'll meet a man who knows all too well what the Boston Marathon victims are going through. Yeah, his name is John Redfield, and he had his leg amputated after a motorcycle accident, and he's actually now helping other amputees heal. He wants to know, uh, the victims to know not only goes on. After the Boston Marathon terror attack, some runners will have to learn to walk again. John Redfield knows what that feels like. It's a shock um, you, because you don't know what's out there. You think, you know, life's over, you'll never walk again, you'll never, you know, never run. Running is the, probably the farthest thing from most people's minds. A runner himself, he lost his leg after a motorcycle accident in April of 1991. He refused to give up on running races. Right after my accident, in fact, in the hospital, I told all the doctors, there that I've got an annual race Thanksgiving Day that I have to be able to run for. And they all thought I was a little bit crazy, but uh, my prosthesis built me the leg and I completed the Manchester Road Race. Only six months after his accident, he ran the five miles and has been running ever since. Today, he works for the Hanger Clinic here in Wethersfield, one of the largest prosthetic companies in America. He wants the victims of the marathon attacks to know there's hope. There's support for them. There's a, a network of amputees that are willing to meet with them, let them know what they can do. Um, it's not really what you can't do. I mean, focusing on what you've lost is a normal process, but there's so much that they can do, and there's so many people out there like myself ready to help them. Staff members like John often visit with amputees in the hospital to show them how far they've come. If I'm dressed in long pants, folks don't know mm -hmm. that I'm an amputee, which right. is my goal. Prosthetics have come a long way in the, in the 22 years that I've been involved. We've got actually active vacuum sockets, which means the socket is drawn up onto the limb, which makes it feel pretty much like it's your leg again. It really doesn't feel like something is dangling off of you. Mm. Uh, the the feet, foot that I'm wearing now has got a hydraulic ankle in it, so it's got motion. Uh, from here to here, which adapts for uneven terrain. There's even a prosthetic built for a marathon. This is called the, uh, the Freedom Nitro. And what it does is it, it absorbs a lot more impact hitting the ground. It compresses and then delivers that energy as you rebound off of it. Wow. Kind of like a pogo stick. And new technology is making life better for amputees. This is a motor inside, mm. an accelerometer. So if, you, if you're standing still, it actually moves. So wow. your foot will be on the ground when you get up. It's the, it's the first bionic foot that, that was out there. Al Matsunas helped make John's new leg. Crafting a prosthetic is an art. This is the underneath mold that is actually made that shows what the hand will actually look like after the amputations. Uh, then an artist will work in sculpting, match the other, other side, and then come up with a silicone restoration that sort of looked like this will be put over the mold that goes actually over the person's hand. Uh, and then looking at side by side, you'd never notice the difference. And the mission is really to make that person feel as whole as possible. They can be personalized. This is a gentleman who was in the Marines, obviously, and he wanted to personalize his prosthesis so we can put the emblems, etc., on. Prosthetics can cost from $5,000 up to $100,000, and each one lasts only about three to five years. 
Hanger is working to make sure victims of the bombings will be served. Hanger is committed to helping out in whatever way we can. Uh, we are committed to getting people started and getting back up on the processes. And we will, if there are no resources for payment and things, we will voluntarily take care of those. Hard to believe, but John actually looks at his injury as a gift now. Someone actually asked me if I could go back and undo what happened. Would I? And I can honestly say I, I don't think I would. I wouldn't wouldn't know the people yeah. I know. I wouldn't be where I am today. I yeah. mean, this is actually, you know, part of me. That's great. All right, there is a support group. It's called EmpoweringAmputees.org that is helping the victims of the bombings and others who uh, have lost limbs as well. That's right, and John says showing people there is hope is a powerful way to heal. Again, that uh, support group is EmpoweringAmputees.org. Great. Thanks, Kara. We appreciate that story. All right, up next, we're going into the garden with Julie Harrison. She's going to tell us what we need to know to get these tulips to look like this. This is right outside our studios here Beautiful. in Rocky Hill. All right, we'll be right back. Stay with us. The brutal winter is over, but how did your house hold up? If you need to make a bunch of repairs, a handyman could come in handy. If you want to address it now, if you let them go, you could potentially run into big expenses down the road. Who do you hire? How can you stretch your knowledge tonight? Can you believe that years ago, people used to throw away their old broken jewelry and silverware? It's like literally throwing away cash. Why not get paid to clean out your old valuables? For fast cash on the highest prices fake, MC Fast Trading, West Hartford and Orange. In a world where Rachel can get personal TV show recommendations, where Hannah's internet flies unbelievably fast. At Cox Digital Telephone, saves me $10 every month. Oh, what is Tyler doing? Whoa, whoa, Dad. Oh, hey. yes. No. This, this is going viral. <laughs> get our new two-year price guarantee. It's our best offer ever. Starting as low as $99.99 a month, you get advanced TV, super fast internet, and home phone. Now with free pro installation. We have a go for auto sequence start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Launch your internet experience on AT&T's newly expanded advanced digital network and connect more Wi-Fi enabled devices at home. Call to get U-verse high speed internet starting at fourteen ninety five a month, a guaranteed price for twelve months. Or ask how to get your choice of a Kindle Fire HD, Sonos Play three, or Xbox three sixty free with other qualifying internet offers. And get more speed for Wi Fi gaming, more reliability than ever, and more connectivity between devices. So call to get U-verse high speed internet starting at fourteen ninety five a month. A guaranteed price for 12 months. Or ask how to get your choice of a Kindle Fire HD, Sonos Play 3, or Xbox 360 free with other qualifying internet offers. U-verse high speed internet. Where all systems are going. Hi, I'm Keith from Fast Eddie Gold and Diamond Exchange. Fast Eddie is not a pawn shop. We're a full-service jewelry store specializing in paying you the most for your gold, silver, and platinum. For fast cash on the highest prices paid, MC Fast Eddie in West Hartford and Orange. Spring has sprung. Even on a mostly cloudy day, if you have absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous tulips like this, I hear, I'm hearing tiptoe through the tulips by Tiny Tim. Are you hearing that? <laughs> yes, I'm hearing it. It's a it. little insanity. <laughs> it is crazy. <laughs> Julie Harrison is here. She has uh, just brought us some beautiful color. And these are right outside our studios these here. These are yeah. stunning. Aren't they, they are. amazing? I don't know if I've ever seen tulips like just this. Just look at the size, okay? Here's the, my, the palm of my hand. And it just about covers my palm. These are just the biggest tulips. These are from Color Blends, which are out of Bridgeport, Connecticut. I love using local companies. And um, this variety is called the Royals. And doesn't it look like royalty? It, it is. I, I'm not kidding. The uh, yeah. audience, right? Are they not the most spectacular? Can, can anyone do tulips? this? I mean, I don't know yeah. how to plant, but I can have tulips like this. You totally can. The only tricky part, Alyssa, is that you have to plant them in the fall. Most people People see the tulips in the spring and they're like, oh, I want to plant tulips, but it's too late. You've got to do it in the fall. Okay. Last fall, I planted these and I did it the color blends method, which is 100 tulips in under 30 minutes. I actually planted this 300, there's 300 bulbs in here. Oh I planted goodness. all 300 all together in under 30 minutes. I was, we planted it really quickly. It was awesome. And this is the payoff. I am so impressed. Now, how long will this last? How long will these stay in bloom? So these started um, showing a lot of color about a week and a half yep. ago, and they still have 
probably a good week. It depends on the weather. Yeah, because if you get a you rainstorm know, or a you rain, know, or if it really so a couple warms weeks. up, definitely. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably about yeah. a couple of weeks. Huh. Yeah. All right, so tell us when you, again, you started in the fall, and how did you plant them? Okay, so I just dug the area out. Right. So the soil was, was removed, and I just placed them on, on top of um, the lower level of soil, covered them back up. How and many inches dug. down are they? They're about the four or five inches down. Okay. And yeah. now these are perennial, so they'll come back every year. Well, they will, except uh -huh. that we use this garden for other planting. So right. I'm going to pull these out, and I'm treating these as annuals. Okay, so that's, that's yeah. you can go in and retrieve the bulb. and You can. And, and how do you store that? Okay, so um, I'm going to let them dry out and then plant them again in the fall. But if you want to keep them as perennials, you just want to make sure you deadhead. You can so. replant them? Oh, the yeah, yeah, the bulbs. Definitely. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So um, pretend that this poor little guy is all done flowering. Oh, You're just no. going to cut oh. the top off. And I want to show you inside, this is where they make their seeds. See the, all the pollen? Yep. And so if I cut this in half, you can see that this is where the seeds will begin to be um, produced if you don't deadhead. So you want to make sure you deadhead so that all of the nutrients goes back into the bulb for next year. Okay. And the other really, really important thing is that you leave the foliage alone until it turns yellow and crunchy and dried up, and then you can remove it. But if you pull these leaves out or cut them out now, no flowers next year. Seriously. Yeah, so you have it's to wait. really important. The same, it goes with all um, flowering bulbs. You really need to make sure you leave the foliage now, alone. Do you have to water them, or how does this? No, especially once they start flowering. You just want to leave them alone. So Aren't they so pretty? And so that one that I just cut off, you've got to look, look at, at this. Look at the inside of that flower. That There's so a few pretty? more coming out of that same. Yeah, so this was one bulb, and there were three flowers coming off of it because they were that big, and there were a couple little bulbettes on the side. All right, so but how long do is it, will it generally take for these, you know, the greenery to get to that brown? Is it a month after they're done yeah, blooming or two months? Again, it all depends on, on the, the weather. On the weather. Mr. It's, Weatherman. It's really been a cool spring, so finally <laughs> we're getting into the 70s. It has, but I hope it doesn't get too much warmer so that we can enjoy these for a really long time. All right, now again, now next year you would just do the same thing. In, right, uh, plant in the them fall, in the fall. You come back in the fall. And then in the spring. I know in the fall you're thinking about planting mums and trying to figure out what your Halloween costume is going to be. You're not thinking about tulip bulbs, but in fact, that's when you need to plant them. All right, so um, we have four studio audience members. We're okay. gonna we're gonna cut, oh. we're gonna cut one for each. Well, just remember, don't ever feel bad about cutting them because it's the best thing for the bulb. So okay, cutting so you the feel flowers, guilty. you can bring them inside to enjoy them. Aww. Share them with friends. Yeah, right. That, you know, and uh, cut flowers if you make sure that they're watered. And you know, you get enough water, they'll last in your house. And for... Scott, I love how you did random cuttings. That was See, I, exactly well, I, what I would have done. Right, you I don't want to so, pull them from He's a professional. He is a professional. Go, professional. What a Isn't gentleman. Beautiful? There's one for you. Aww. One for you. Isn't that beautiful? There you go. Tulips. I mean, 300 bulbs. How much would that cost? I, I don't even. So um, this was about just over ninety dollars. Ninety dollars to provide you with this absolutely gorgeous, stunning, stunning, stunning thing. Colors. But remember, yeah. you got to plant them in the fall. Julie, thank yes. you so much for bringing this beauty to our yard. Oh, well, you're so welcome. Happy spring. Happy spring. Yay. Better spring is sprung. Back in two minutes with more. Stay with us. They're just gorgeous. Hi, folks. I'm Fred Thompson. And like me, you probably heard a lot about reverse mortgages, but weren't quite sure how they worked or whether they'd be the right financial solution for you. Well, take my word for it, and hundreds of thousands of other Americans who've used a government-insured reverse mortgage as a safe, effective financial tool. If you're over 62 years old and own your own home, give AAG a call to find out how a reverse mortgage can help you. You know, I'm extremely proud to be a part of AAG, a national reverse mortgage lender that's helping people overcome their financial worries and live the lives they've dreamed. Why don't you find out more by calling us today? Call 1-800-679-3124 now to receive a new special edition handbook featuring stories from actual reverse mortgage borrowers, plus an educational brochure and DVD absolutely free. Find out how much cash you may qualify for. Call AAG today. Get a shark. Get a shark. Get a shark. When you build a better vacuum, word gets around. Get a shark. So it's no surprise that America's most recommended vacuum is a shark. Get a shark. After all, sharks never lose suction, have swivel steering, and anti-allergen complete seal technology. A shark. And now we've built our best vacuum yet, the Shark Rotator. Get a shark. 
So get a shark and find out why it's America's most recommended vacuum. Got a craving for candy? Try Candy Crush Saga, the hit game enjoyed by millions every day. It's super easy to pick up. Match three candies to clear them, or combine four or more to make special candies. With deliciously tasty puzzles to solve, Candy Crush Saga is free to play. Search for it on Facebook, Android phones, or iPhone and iPad. So go on, treat yourself. Play Candy Crush Saga today. Enough of a sign that spring has sprung. How about some spring fashion? You can brighten up your look for the spring season. We went to West Farms Mall for some great ideas. Take a look. Hey everyone, today we're at West Farms Mall. I'm here with Elizabeth and we're talking about spring fashion. Yes, it's that time of year to update your wardrobes for spring. We have some great trends to talk about today from West Farms. Okay, what are some of the popular trends we'll be seeing? Some trends this season we'll see are horizontal stripes, some cobalt blue, pops of yellow, pops of color, that peplum look, and also black and white is really big this season. Okay. What, what colors are we talking about? I hear jewel tones are really popular. Jewel tones, we'll see rich greens, mint greens, bright blues, aquas, and black and white. First, we have an outfit from Talbots. She's wearing a striped blazer with horizontal stripes and popping it out with a cobalt blue pant, which is really popular this season, and strappy shoes along with a clutch with the pop of color. It's that yellow, canary yellow that's really hot this season. So the colors don't have to match. No, you're kind of keeping it almost monochromatic, kind of blending it and then maybe accenting it with a special accessory that makes it look a little different this season. Okay. Next, we have an outfit from Banana Republic. She has a classic white denim capri paired with a mint green top. It's that peplum style top that's really, really hot. A great wedge. You see a lot of wedges this season in a metallic gold along with a brown leather tote. The white pants. Well, it's, is the myth true? You can wear them, you can't wear them, now, Labor Day, Memorial Day? Now it's good any time of the year. White is a staple to have in your wardrobe. Great for summer, of course. We can also wear it in the spring months and into fall. Okay, excellent. Next, we have an outfit from Ann Taylor. She is wearing the aqua blue trend, kind of mixed together. We have aqua capris paired with a floral peplum top again. Belted it this time to have a little different look to that um, peplum look with a nude shoe. Nude shoes are really hot this season. They Everybody with, needs a pair of nude shoes. Everyone needs a pair of nude shoes. They go with anything you have in your closet. Okay. Really. The next outfit we have is from White House Black Market. It's the black and white trend that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. And the floral pant is huge this season. Okay. It looks good on just about any body type, and you can accent it here. We have it with black, a simple black cami, a white blazer, and we've popped it out with a little bit of purple. Mm -hmm. With the purple clutch and the purple uh, ballet flat, which is adorable on her. Now, this is from White House Black Market, but is this not for the season? It is. It definitely is. Pinks, too. Pinks, purples, and you're seeing a lot of black and white, but then accented with a pink or a purple, a yellow, a navy, any kind of bright color. Okay. Well, look, I did something in fashion. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have the, the Maxis back again. and Everyone has one in their closet, probably from last summer. Comfortable, cool to wear. You could wear it spring going into summer. This outfit's from The Gap, and she's wearing a long printed maxi dress paired with a denim jacket, which is really great to cover up now when it's a little cool outside. You can always take it off for summer. Very cool, comfortable outfit. Awesome. And all of these outfits can be found here at West Farms. Everything's from West Farms, and they're having great sales right now. So if you just come to the mall, the stores are all decked out for spring going into summer. And somebody can help out and tell you what you need to wear. Exactly. Most of the stores have personal shopping assistance available, and any sales associate is always willing to help find that trend you're looking for. Excellent. Happy shopping. Thank you to West Farms for having us and teaching us all about the latest styles. Teaching me some things because I'm clueless. Scott, over to you. Well, as, uh, as I was just telling John, this is John Holt, not our sports uh, anchor. But nonetheless, uh, we, we love to have you with uh, Nutmeg Credit Union. And we, I just love talking mortgages because I think it's the most fascinating and, and the best thing that you can talk about these days. If you're not refinancing, then you really need to think about this. But first of all, a lot of people don't even think that they can go to a credit union and get a mortgage. That's that's a misnomer. Yeah, I mean, the you know, a lot of people come to a credit union. They think they can just open a savings account or a checking account, but in fact, you can do mortgages, home equity loans, and we're also one of the few credit unions, actually the only credit union in this area that does business mortgages and business loans. So I hope to put that to rest, where you can come in and do your home equity, your loan, your mortgage or your business loan. Now, the difference between a lot of people saying, well, then why would I go to a credit? What's the difference between a credit union and a bank? 
Well, really, it's the structure. You know, a lot of times the bigger banks, they, you know, they have to make money for the shareholder because the shareholder has to get a certain return. With a credit union, it's a not-for-profit organization, so any money we make goes back into, um, you know, lower rates on loans, higher rates on the deposits. So most of the time consumers get the benefit of like a lower rate on a mortgage for instance right all right so, now uh, my mortgage i'm gonna i'll just talk about my situation yeah. <clears throat> 3.75 and it's a 15-year fix i got about 12 years left so would it be advisable for me to refinance at this point? If we have um, a product called the Homeowners Express, it's a there's and it's rates as low as two nine nine. There's no closing costs. There's an eight and a twelve year program. In if there's no closing costs and your rates three seven five, it would be worth it because right now rates are slightly lower than that. And the thinking is is if you have to pay closing costs. Um, you want to at least save one percent from what you currently have. Okay. One. But in the case of you, who may not have a closing cost, if you'd use this product that we have called Homeowners Express, it would be probably worth looking into. All right. So then, and and you know, your payment might go up a little bit if you were trying to downsize the years, but it would probably be offset with the amount of money that you're going to save. So your payment might actually stay the same, and you can get less on yes, less years left on your mortgage. Right. And more would go toward the principal because it's less years. You'd pay less on the interest. So why would you not come in? And speak to you people. I don't know. I, I, go Let's in and hopefully speak after to, this show. You come to go in there and talk to this man, would you please? Where are where are the? Where uh, are we the have branches years? all over, right around the Hartford. We have one in Rocky Hill, just around the corner. New Britain, Manchester, East Windsor. We have one in downtown Hartford. We have one in Newington. Um, we have. Um, I, I think I mentioned Manchester. I always have to go through my head. We have one opening in Cromwell in the Walmart coming up oh, right uh, next we, month. Perfect. And then in Bristol in the late summer. All right. So let's just go over a couple of the products. 10, 15, 20, 30, and 40-year fixed rate mortgages. Right. You got them. All of them. A first-time home buyers program? First-time home buyers program, which is pretty unique. So, you know, a young couple or anyone that has not bought a house yet, maybe have just always rented, and they want to come and buy a first-time first, first -time home buyers program, come here. You who Over there. Are you listening, Alessa? Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh -huh. listening. Renters? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I know, I know. Okay. I, Go speak I, it's to a John. lot less for a mortgage than it is to rent. It's I'm definitely you. worth it. Oh, I'm fully realizing this now. <laughs> Although she is my wife and we're trying to get her to move in with me. She's not buying it. <laughs> Three, five, and seven year adjustable rate mortgages. Yeah, and the adjustable rate mortgages right now, those are probably more along the lines of when you want to just have interest only. But right now with rates so low, Why? you're better off sticking with the fixed rate mortgage. Okay. And th this is the kind of advice you're going to get though, which is appreciated. Yeah, you don't, I mean, rates are a completely low and you know it's basically you know time to refinance because they're gonna go up and what is this 30 year non-owner occupied mortgage what well I think that's if you want to invest you invest want to invest in a, in a home or a property, property a second home you know a summer home we will do all of the refinancing for those types of homes all as right, well. before we close if you are paying what interest rate right now you really should come in as what what uh, anything, anything over four percent Anything, uh, my producer just said hers is six what? Ooh. Six point what? Painful. Six point one two five. Okay. So, no, yeah, just, and especially if you're at 5% and over. I mean, because if you've calculated out and you have a $200,000 mortgage and you go from 5.25 down to like 3.75, you're saved $200 a month. What if the house is underwater? Can, can you help these people? Can if you the house them? is really underwater, because we'll do 80% loan to value, you're probably going to have to have some money down if the house okay. is underwater. We'll save There's a little really, bit and then go in. Yeah. John, we can't. We Appreciate always, it. I Thanks, always love God. when you come in here because I think it's fascinating. If you're not out there, this is money that you could have in your pocket. Pocket, just go and speak to these people at Nutmeg. Thanks so much. All right, Alessa? Thank you, Scott. And I will be there at 12.15 today. Okay. A local we'll library takes printing <laughs> to a whole new level or dimension. They have a printer that creates 3D objects. That's next. Stay with us. Seven belly blasters that work and fast like this. Shrink your fat cells and burn fat faster. Today at 4 on Channel 3, your home for eyewitness news. You've got your responsible gun owners, and you've got some who cops say just should not have a gun. We know best who in our community would be suitable. But when police revoke a permit, almost half get the gun back. Why is this happening? The I-Team investigates tonight, starting at 5. If you've been denied your Social Security disability benefits, get Carter. Call 1-800-560-1300.
Brothers presents Built to Amaze, an all-new live event engineered for excitement and custom-built for family fun. It will have your family riveted. Do something extraordinary together. Opening night tickets are $15. Playing Excel Center, May 9th through the 12th. When people think about auto insurance, everybody has their own definition of value. If you're looking for the best value, call Amica. A great price is just the beginning. We'll also dig deeper and find every discount that you're eligible for, even some you might not know about. So call Amica now at 877-52-AMICA. A great price plus the coverage and service you deserve. That's the value of Amica Auto Insurance. How do you decide which auto insurance is right for you? It depends on your formula for value. That's why you should call Amica. Because there are so many reasons to switch. We're a mutual company owned by our customers. So when you call, you talk directly to a company that always puts its customers first. So call 877-52-AMICA now and discover the full value of Amica Auto Insurance. Time is running out on Xfinity's fastest four weeks. Speaking of fast, you've got less than two weeks left to get a limited time offer on the fastest in-home Wi-Fi and Xfinity TV. How about this Wi-Fi, huh? Incredibly fast. It even works in the attic. It even works in the attic. Get the Xfinity Double Play from Comcast for $89.99 a month for 12 months with no term contract. Plus, you can get our fastest wireless gateway and a self-install kit. Less than two weeks left. Better get moving. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. If any of this wet weather puts a dent in our rainfall deficit, the answer at 5. It's better than this. 2.99% interest rated mortgage won't rock your boat. This, this will. This will. This whistle was created on a 3D printer. It was created on a 3D printer. The machine printed it from plastic, complete with the little ball inside. I don't understand. At the Westport, at the library in Westport. And this frog was also created by that printer. As Channel 3's reporter Dan Keene tells us, folks from 8 to 80 are using the printers there to make all sorts of things. Take a look. We're all familiar with printers as magic boxes that make two-dimensional copies of things, but the printers at the library in Westport can make three-dimensional copies from objects found online. Not something you expect to see in a library. Probably in the 80s, you didn't expect to find personal computers in a library either. And libraries are the perfect place. Working from online images, the printers lay down layers of plastic and gradually build up objects from the mundane to the magical. A Statue of Liberty or a chain bracelet. One seventh grader made this cell phone cover. It's a lot of fun because I can make anything I want out of the 3D printer. Graham has been working with the printers for about 10 weeks. Hit a button and it starts to happen? Pretty much. There's not much to it. <laughs> well, are you at all amazed by this? Yes, I'm very amazed by this. The printers cost anywhere from $400 for a do-it-yourself kit up to many, many thousands. The ones in Westport cost about $2,500. And folks from 8 to 80 sign up to use them. We've had inventors here. Um, printing out prototypes. Here we are in a library that is always about sharing ideas, communicating with one another, connecting resources, and that's what this does. It also makes, in this case, a whistle. You can just pluck it right off. And there's actually a ball inside it. Libraries are the perfect place for people of all ages and all stages of, of their lives to learn about the next disruptive technology. Disruptive? Disruptive. Disruptive technology means it's going to make a big difference in our world. It's an algorithm in the printer that allows it to harden quickly and move a slender thread of plastic out over nothing. I think that's pretty amazing. And by the way, the whistle works. It's not something you should really be doing in the library, but... <laughs> and as is the case with any innovation, this is just the beginning. Where it goes from here, who knows? We're in Westport. For Better Connecticut, Dan Kane reporting. Oh, come on. Is that not cool, That's ladies? pretty cool. Is that pretty cool? They're all over there chatting it up. How cool is this again, this little frog? And I didn't know that uh, Sully got a job at the library. I know. The He's guy who landed the plane. Landed the plane. <laughs> Wasn't that him in the story? I think that's amazing. All right. Again, it's at the Westport Public Library. Go and check it out. Very nice. And up next, we're talking to the host of the Brain Games to help us understand why our brain is the most complicated object in the universe. He's going to try and find mine. Good luck. We'll be back. Stay with us. A murder investigation in Hartford. Who gunned down and left a pregnant woman to die in her car? 
And a startling discovery inside a vacant house empty except for hundreds of gallons of urine. How did it get there and why? We're asking those questions tonight at 5. If you've been in a car or motorcycle crash and you think the insurance company acts like they're spending their own money just to fix your vehicle, wait until you try to get compensation for your bills, your time off work, and the pain you've suffered. I'm Keith Trantolo, and you're going to need a lawyer like me. I'll get in there and get back everything that was taken from you, and I won't take more for my fee than you get. Put the winning tradition of Trantolo and Trantolo on your side, and the money where it belongs, in your pocket. I cannot believe I could walk in the Good Feet store in pain and walk out pain free. I mean, that has to happen to you before you believe it. And it happened to me. Thanks to the Good Feet store. sharing delicious meals made with good sour cream for more than 160 years. They know they're sharing the best because they love Hood's rich, creamy taste. And love that it's all natural with no artificial ingredients or preservatives. So share some smiles with all natural Hood sour cream. Always good. Always Hood. When you come in to dine at Depot, you're going to find exactly what you were looking for. Whether it's a complete dining room or a custom dinette set, we have over 200 sets on display. Any size, any stain, any shape, any legs, any chairs, any way you want it. You're the designer. Create a table or how about a center island with tons of stools to choose from. You may be surprised what you find at Dinette Depot, but you won't have to compromise. Come see what you've been looking for. Dinette Depot in Newington or Brookfield. One of the most common injuries resulting from a car accident is a back injury. Just last week, it happened to you. Your injury has made life difficult and you can't escape the pain. Take it seriously. Get the help you need right now. Get Carter and get the no fee guarantee. 1-800-900-6700. All right, welcome back, everybody. Joining us now from National Geographic show is Brian. Uh, it's called, uh, the show is called Brain Games, and Jason Silva is the host. Jason, thank you so much for being with us on Better Connecticut. Thank you much for having me. Thank I, you so much. As you can tell, my brain is not working because I can't even read the prompter. I know, but I know. Uh, and this is a lesson, my beautiful co-host. We're so excited to have you on the show. First of all, tell us about Brain Games. What's it going to be like? It's very exciting. Shh. Oh, it's a great ride. You know, we, the show is a pop science series about the brain, about neuroscience that uses interactive experiments. It uses perceptual illusions designed by brain experts to literally hack your brain and in doing so reveal a lot of the built-in shortcomings, the limitations in the hardware that is the brain. And that serves as a hook. You know, we blow your mind, we pull the rug from underneath your feet, and then you're like, explain this to me. And then we do explain it to you. So that's why we call it a real interactive, smarter attainment offering because it's going to make you smarter just by watching. So people at home can play along. Oh, absolutely. You know, the, the real star of the show is your brain as a viewer. You play along in a lot of these games that we've created, and they're all visual, and they're all fascinating. And by playing along, you have the experience at home of literally we create a crack in your perception of reality. You start to realize that what you see is not always what you get. And that serves as a real hook to make you want to understand what's going on, right? Because when you feel all of a sudden like off balance, the self is thrown into disarray temporarily, you're like, explain this to me and we do and that's why we think it's such a fascinating such a fascinating show Jason let me ask you a question I'm 49 and I've never learned to speak another language and every time I go to a different country I'm like I'm gonna learn to speak that language and then I say no I'm 49 I'm too old my brain can't handle it is that true or can we actually teach our brain new things even as we get older we definitely can. In fact, is we should. You know, people. There's all these new th insights coming out about neural plasticity. You know, and about how the brain actually can rewire itself, and it has all these amazing ways in which it can create new neural pathways. And I think the problem is that people fall into these mental habits. They fall into again these these neural pathways that they use all the time. And, and again, that saves energy, but it doesn't engage with the world in new and novel ways. And one of the best ways to exercise the brain is by constantly challenging it. 
it. And so that means stepping outside your comfort zone, trying new things, even changing your commute to work every day will change things up, force your brain to engage with novel information. Learning a new language is one of the best ways you can possibly do that. Que Travel cosa, as well. Que cosa fai? That's all I know from four years of Italian. It's really ridiculous. That is bad. <laughs> do you do you talk to? Come hablar español si quieres. See, he's oh. see, no. See that. That's so понятно. Спасибо. I don't know what she just said. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I I said, I said we can talk in Spanish if you want. Oh, see that? <laughs> I'm gonna, I just learned something new. It's right like here the on UN the show. My brain here. is What's working. <laughs> uh, do you talk to companies? Do you come out and talk to like groups of people or maybe some kind of like brain teasers for companies or work functions? Oh, yes. No, I, I travel around the world and do keynotes on the future of technology, how we use technology to extend the boundaries of the human brain. I, part of the reason that I got involved in brain games is because National Geographic caught wind of these short documentaries I was doing on the web that explore the role of technology as a way to help us transcend all previous limits. Technology is an instrument for human flourishing. And so I'm really interested, again, in, the, in, the, in how brains and technology works together, how we dovetail our cognition to increasingly powerful tools. It's a very big interest of mine. All right, so and, uh, this is how I brain game myself. <laughs> can we play the game? This is the one that came with the press release. I want to say because I think it's fascinating. All right, everybody at home, with Jason's help, pick a number between one and five. Studio audience, pick a number between one and five. Okay, now multiply it by nine. Add the digits of the new number together. Have you done that? Okay. Yes. Now subtract five. Uh huh. Are we all good? Yeah. Is your final number four? Yes. Studio audience. Jason, why does that How work? How does that happen? How does that happen? Well, this is one of those like mathematical tricks, you know, these things, the, the, your brain is a lot more predictable. Your brain receives incomplete information from the world and wants to complete that information. You know, your brain actually receives low resolution 2D images from the outside world and creates a 3D reality. I mean, scientists know exactly what's going on in your brain when you process information and they can create these little tricks like this puzzle to trick you into it. Here, let me do another one. Let me do another one for you and see if you guys fall okay. for it. So this one has to do with priming and with completing patterns. If I was to ask you the question, Mary's mother has four daughters, April, May, June, and? July. No, what was the name of the, what was the first <laughs> word you said? Oh, you're smart. Okay, see, he got it wrong, and I think you're onto something here, and let me explain to you why. We have why, to go. When I said we'll the go pattern, quickly. When, Go yeah, ahead. when I said April, May, and June, you wanted to complete the pattern in, say, July. Right. But actually, the question is, Mary's mother has four daughters. It's Mary. April, May, June, and Mary. Uh, right. But most people just complete the pattern without looking at the whole question. Actually, I couldn't hear you because my producer was screaming in my ear to wrap this interview. <laughs> so, Jason, thank you so okay. much for joining us. The show is air Mondays, which is tonight, 9 p.m. on National Geographic Channel. It's a fascinating. Jason, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you being on the show. Thank you so much. We are in the kitchen with Christine Aronimo. We'll be right back. Stay Stick with around. us. That was fascinating. Oh, Lord. Seven belly blasters that work. And fast, like this. Shrink your fat cells and burn fat faster. Today at 4 on Channel 3, your home for eyewitness news. Tired of your drafty old windows? Call the experts at Advanced Window Systems and get 10% off or 24 months no interest. The Force Air System in your home or business keeps you comfortable year-round, but there's a lot more than air coming out of your heating and cooling system. Allergens, dust, and debris can be found in the air you breathe. Superior Fuel provides a video inspection of your air system, and in just minutes, you'll see what you're breathing in. Superior will individually brush clean and sanitize each duct in your home. Call by May 10th and get up to $100 off your duct cleaning today. Keep your family safe and healthy with Superior Fuel. It's not just the name, it's the quality of the service we provide. A painting company is important to us because it's our home, so it's personal. They asked a lot of questions before they even got started, like, where can we wash our tools? They suggested starting in the kitchen because the baby naps upstairs. At Serta Pro Painters, we understand painting is personal for you because it's personal for us, and we have a system to ensure your satisfaction. They kept the gate latched so the colonel couldn't run off. We put painting at the top of our improvement list. Book your free exterior estimate at certapro.com because painting is personal in New England. Hey, hello. You might not know what form something suspicious will take, 
But you know the things you see every day, and you know when something just doesn't look right. If you see something, say something. Yes, it could turn out to be nothing. But what if it is something? Excuse me, driver. I saw something back there. Advanced Window Systems offers premium roofing and siding at a great price and the best warranty in the industry. Call us today for a free in-home estimate on any roofing, siding, or window project. Advanced Window Systems, 1-800-841-6544. Uh, Christina Geronimo is here. Easy Hi. stuff. To, oh, bread. This is probably one of my... It's just one of my favorite things ever. This is my go-to appetizer when I'm going somewhere. Do you know how to make a stuffed bread? Nope. What do they call it? Is a stromboli? Is there another name? A stromboli? For this? I think you use ham. I okay. don't use ham. So right. this is just an Italian spinach pepperoni stuffed bread. All right. And you it's can make cheap and easy. It's always cheap and easy. Okay. You can make spinach. You can make just pepperoni. There's mm. you know different ways to do it, but it's all the same idea. Okay. So you want to start first with a store bought pizza dough. Okay. And um, is this in the frozen section? Frozen section. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so you yeah. don't have to make it from scratch. It comes no. ready. Oh, okay. Have you seen my segment? Oh my uh, yes, but I'm, you know I'm fancy. I know how to make things from scratch. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's going to be your segment. I'm lying. Expensive She's and totally not lying. easy. Totally lying. <laughs> so you take the pizza dough out in the morning, you put it on the counter, and it's going to rise up twice the size. Leave it's it in gonna, the bag. Leave it in the bag. Okay. You can take the little tag off. And so what you're going to get is... Uh, your, your risen pizza dough and by the this, time you come home. And, and this is, uh, you will also hear Josh Groban. You raise me up <laughs> like I'm a yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. That was, thank you, studio. That was They're very laughing. funny. I love yeah. This audience. yeah. Anyway, They're go ahead. laughing. I'm dead. All right, so you got the dough. So you got the dough. Now you want to prepare. So you get home, your dough is ready. Now you want to prepare a little spinach with um, some onions. So in a pan with a little bit of oil, you saute your chopped onions, and then you get your frozen chopped spinach. Okay. And you See, drain it. I just made this from scratch. And you drain it and you throw it in. You stir it up, a little garlic powder, and you're good to go. So there's your spinach. So just onions and frozen spinach. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. Can you put the whole thing in there frozen? No, just... because you have to drain it. All right. So It'll just, be too watery. So we, and you can use other it. things, right? You can put it in your colander in the sink and just let it drain. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. We're good so to go. So there's your spinach. Now we're going, this is the secret ingredient. Well, pepperoni. Mm, I love But pepperoni. when people make pepperoni bread, they usually make it with the little sliced pepperoni. Right, uh -huh. right, we're right. not going to do that. Ah. We're going to grate it. But you know what? I'm a little apprehensive to let you grate. Come on. Give me, give me a chance. <laughs> the last time you grated the zucchini, do you remember what happened? Yes. It was not good. It was not good. Are so, you sure you want to do this? All right. So which, which, which side right am here, I using? You just grate the pepperoni. You can just do a little because I actually pre-grated last night. Oh, boy. So hold it. Yeah. Be careful. Oh, So okay. what it does, it, it releases the pepperoni flavor um, so that you get a better, it just tastes better. Mm -hmm. So now we're taking our dough out. Okay. Now, all you're going to do with your dough, really, you flour, anything oh, that's sticky? Oh, no, no. I actually put a little bit of oil on it. And you got to work with it, and you stretch out your dough, make it into a nice big rectangle. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go. You ready? Ready to make oh, this? I'm ready. Got our mozzarella cheese that we bought at the store. Okay, mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese over it. Okay. Beautiful. Now, Alessa, I want you to start spreading the uh, spinach and onion over the Spread top. Spread your spinach all over the dough and put on a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quit your day job. <laughs> I can. It provides me with health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Which he clearly needs. Okay. So, we so now we got our left. spinach. Put the pepperoni on there. All right. Spread it, spread it around. around. Yeah. We're going to just... Oh, this is nice. So much better when you grate it. This is Very the secret. Nice. This, okay? That is the secret. Okay. Now we're going to roll. You ready to roll? Ready yeah. To roll. Are we all we're rolling? rolling yeah, let's roll. Nice and tight. Roll it. Now we're... Stop, stop. We're going to take the end, pull it up. Nice. Now we're going to put it on the pan, seam down. Seam down. Okay? Look at okay. that. There it is. Now it's going in the oven, just like this. 30 seconds. 350 for 25 minutes until it's brown. And... Here's it already cut up. Let's have a little piece. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and it actually in. comes out like this. Like that? And yeah. you cut it up. You cut it up, and you've got beautiful, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Thank Pepper you, yummy. Christine. Thank the you. The recipe will be on our website. Studio audience, thank you so much. We hope you have a good time. Alessa, thank you. What do you call a group of moths? 
a flock and eclipse. I call it a problem. If your rugs have moth problems, don't let the rugs suffer. Bring them to Kaut Oriental Rugs for a thorough cleaning and moth proofing or for expert repairs and reweaving. And if your rugs are more than three years old, they'll really appreciate a light refreshing bath. We all need a little me time. Just call or come in now. Kaur Oriental Rugs, West Hartford Center, Manchester, Canton, Connecticut, also in Holyoke, Mass. And don't forget to ask for me, 10% Charlie. In a world where Rachel can get personal TV show recommendations, where Hannah's internet flies unbelievably fast, at Cox Digital Telephone saves me $10 every month. Oh, what is Tyler doing? Whoa, whoa, Dad. Oh, hey. yes. No. This, this is going viral. <laughs> get our new two-year price guarantee. It's our best offer ever. Starting as low as $99.99 a month, you get advanced TV, super fast internet, and home phone. Now with free pro installation. You suffer from a disease, illness, or injury, and your doctor says you can't work. You applied for Social Security disability benefits, but your benefits have been denied. Think about all those years you worked hard and paid into the system. Isn't it time the system worked for you? Call us at Carter Mario Injury Lawyers. We know how the Social Security system works. Let us help you get the disability benefits you deserve. Get Carter, 1-800-560-1300. Scott Haney back at Middlebury Consignment. Trust me, before you buy anywhere else, do yourself a favor and check out this amazing place. It's about great buys all day, every day. Middlebury Consignment, consignment and a whole lot more. Come spend the day. On your side with Dennis House, only on Eyewitness News. Coming up on Eyewitness News, the disappearance of a college student still remains a mystery. Tonight, one of her friends is speaking out. You'll hear her emotional plea. And imagine this, 300 gallons of urine discovered inside a vacant home. Where did it come from and why is it there? We were just as curious as you must be. Join us tonight. Today on the Dr. Oz Show, Dr. Oz's ultimate detox cleanse week. Overhaul your body starting with your fat belly. Seven belly blasters that work and fast like this. Burn fat faster. Big benefit, small little change your behavior. Shrink your fat cells. And the biggest breakthrough yet to curb your hunger. This is a diet pill without chemicals. This is going to change everything. Next. Get ready, because we're kicking off our ultimate detox cleanse week. All week long, we are overhauling your body from head to toe. And we're starting today with lucky number seven. Why? Because I have my seven belly blasters that really work. If you're like these women, they hate their bellies, and they want to blast their belly fat and fast. I get it right? Like this. Yeah. Yeah. This, my friends, is where science fights fat. We're going to help shrink your belly to fat cells. We're going to tighten that core up. Even going to detox your digestive system. Let's get right to my seven belly blasters that really work. We're going to start with Laura. Welcome to the show, Laura. Nice to meet you. So when does your belly fat start becoming a problem for you? Dr. Oz, when has it not been a problem? I've always had a belly. I usually hide it very well with clothes because I have skinny legs. But I notice when I get in the car and put my seatbelt on, I see my belly. And the other day I saw my husband look at my belly. So I felt unattractive and now's the time to do something about it. Well, you're attractive always no matter what. That's a whole separate discussion. But today I want you to know that you're attractive because I want you to be able to shrink that belly fat. And there are things we now know actually work really well. And they're out there. We just have to share them together and we can act on them. You confident? Sure. All right, come on over. Okay. The first thing I want to share to you, and this is important, if you want to burn away that belly and mm -hmm. do it fast, you've got to rev your metabolism. Now, we all know metabolism is important. The question is, how do you do that? Right. And the solution I've got for you is one that has worked for a lot of people. It's called hot pepper jelly. jelly. This stuff is a brand new way to ignite your metabolism. So for about a half an hour after you eat this, you can increase your metabolism, not just by a little bit, but by a whopping 20%. And that's without doing anything else. I'm not telling you to go running or jogging or weightlift or anything else. Big benefit, small little change to your behavior. So I want you to get two tablespoonfuls of hot pepper jelly. You're going to put it on either on your English muffin, if that's what you have in the morning. If you have eggs, which is a good idea, by the way. Okay. Have them in the morning. That's fine. This stuff costs about five bucks. So I have only one request of you. Wow. Would you taste it for me? Sure. Well, how would you normally...